Hello guys, in this video we're gonna see how we can build an entire string in assembly language. So to do that you're gonna have to write something here. Just dot uh, data. So if we want to uh, print a string or want to use any variable, so far we have used only registers DL, BL Oh, there are many registers DL, BL, CL, CH, DH, so many registers. So we have been actually really used uh, variable. So which we will be uh, seeing in later, later, later tutorials. So, so for this tutorial, we're gonna focus on how we can print a string in assembly language. So the pattern of declaring a variable or a string is always the same. So firstly, the name of the string. So we say string string so you have to define the size of the string so it is very important so we use db and it's defined by it as you know uh, one byte is equal to eight bits so we're gonna assigning eight bit for this string so now you're gonna have to write inside the string we're gonna show something so we're gonna show assembly so you will always have to use a character sign at the end of the string otherwise it won't be able to understand that where the string ends so yeah the most of the you know programming language you have to use a dollar sign at the end of the string so so we have initialized or declared the string so now in this code segment this is called data segment i hope i hope actually you can you, you already know the concept of our uh, registers there is so many register data segment code segment extra segments so in this code segment so you're gonna have to initialize the data segment so so to do that you're gonna have to use move ax at the rate of data Again, move dx So I have to use x. All right. So so far we have to use print function or input function. So printing a character or a digit, we used uh, move h comma two. So here we cannot do that. So we're gonna have to use lea actually means load effective address of that string we have declared so a and we have to use dx and we have to place the name of the string which is string there was string one then you have to use string one if it is the name of the string was s1 we have to use s1 so basically in this line we're doing the we're moving the address of the string into the x so now we're gonna have to write a print statement for the print function for uh, string is move h into 9 and then you have to use int 21h so let's run this okay it shows assembly okay so it, in case if you want to just print this more 
after that assembly language assembly string assembly word so you know, have to just use the ascii number or or else you can this is the hexadecimal table you can either use a hexadecimal table or ascii table so i prefer ascii, ASCII table so the ascii number for this uh, emo is zero one so just gonna use that just Let's see. Yeah, so you can see that this emo is, is placed behind the assembly assembly word. So that's how it's to be done. If you, in case if you want to just print two string, so sorry. name is string 2 and I will say I just want to print um, Java so if you just print this you can see okay so we haven't yet uh, written the print statement for this string 2 so let's add it all we have to do is all everything is same just string to let's see what happens so you can see that both the string in the same line so you have to use new line to separate them so the easiest way you can just uh, in the previous video I have shown you how you can just print something in the new line the best way is to just write 10 comma 13 comma in the whichever string want to print into new line so just 10 13 just run this so is something wrong here All right. okay let's run it again All right. okay it shows the results uh, the first line the first string which is assembly the second line it is java and that's how you can just print any n uh, any number of string as you want to so goodbye see you in the next video